fucking phone, man. Hey, man, you got anything for me, bro? your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Patient trouble. Oh, because you're the all-seer. You see everything. Alright, can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him, but from what I see it is not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm very, <laughs> I'm in a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home, but now everything is so confusing and Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Buka said that I was selected for something, but she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so I can go back to Thirsta and be happy. And crying it up. Lovely pain. So profound. The bottle is now full of your juice. Give it to the critter that Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Alright. Helping one. I might actually need the mirror later. But I might have to do this one at a time. So. Now I can give this to him. There you go. Here. Drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh. Trying to poison me. Haha. <laughs> How lovely. Let's see. Tastes like the most profound and darkest looks I've ever tasted before. Give me more, give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright, there you go. Number two, I have ticket number two. And thank you, your tears taste absolutely delicious. Okay. Have you ever told that to somebody? Hey, number two. So I guess that means it's my turn over here. So I will go into because that's the waiting room. Flash your my number two ticket. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. We do not help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty. I just want to find him. I lost kitty. Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky though. Many lose their mind instead. Ha, huh, lucky, but how do I get an appointment then? Ah, shit. <laughs> that is the telephone. Uh, just call me. Here's the card with the telephone number. Are you insane? Call us. But why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Alright, alright, I'm gonna make the call then. This is the weirdest shit ever. <laughs> Completely unnecessary, I would also say. Wait, no, that's the wrong way. I have to go to the other one. Alright. 01-221-217-276. Oh, that's why it was such a long fucking number. Yeah, thank you for holding that up there. I was like, do you have to... Oh, hello. Yes, you told me to call and make an appointment. It's Fran Bow. Uh, mm hmm. I'm available now. No, no, uh, no, yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I s I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great, thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, bye, yes, bye. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I can fast travel. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Fran Bow is my name. 
and the portman is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. <laughs> Alright, thank you. God, be fucking kidding me. This is so weird. I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Phew. Yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Ah, oh, thank you. I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Got it. <laughs> Hello, Remor. You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are Remor, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remor, the terrible Black Prince of Darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do to Dr. Duran? I enjoy immensely seeing you suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night. I saw my window. It must be you who did it, but he just said he cannot stay there for long periods of time. It is very possible that him being outside the window, he did not have enough time to enter the room and do the murdering. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easily to corrupt. Easy to corrupt? Did I say? I said easily. So I would use that. Oh shit! Did yo 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 yo? Did I not say that it could have been me who did it? But I did not think me from another reality. Can't be stop it. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. Why did you stabbing? And the pentagram. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. Or did I? Is that just what Remor wants me to see because he feeds off my tears? my sorrow. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. That monster wants to trick me. I know. Everybody is crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. Now I can, like, they, they're, they're playing with me so much that I don't know if they tell me the exact truth on every little piece here, or if that's just what they want me to think. Is that what they want me to think? That's the question. What's up, Dern? Kitty. Oh, and my cat. I didn't even notice my cat. I just saw Dern. <laughs> Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow, meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Purr. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to Ithirsta, my darling. Palantras can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Oh, Kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dern, alright? He seems to be in trouble. Ah, that is technically a chair that can execute him. Dr. Dern, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up, please, Dr. Dern. Dear, wake up, are you alive, sir? Ah, oh, which I do to wake him up. Get inject him. I don't want to flip that, because that's probably the switch that will you know, kill him in this electric chair that he's in. So let me get this syringe of fluid. Okay. There's Oswald. Um, let's try injecting. It doesn't let me inject myself, so maybe this will wake him up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, damn, what was that? 
don't know. <laughs> it's me, Fran. Ah, what? I can't see very well. Fran Bow, sir, from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran. Monsters, I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Is that fucking... I was gonna say, is that Oswald? Oh, that's... Is that Oswald, or is that Leon, and is that fucking Grace? Grace, you dare show your fucking face to me again? Bitch, I will stab you. I thought you chained her. Alright, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me, Aunt Grace? Why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oz. Damn it. I was hoping it was Leon. I was like, oh shit, Meadows, fuck. No. Uh, I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald from Oswald Asylum. Yes, Fran, the same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Hmm. Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Ramor did a great job. But did he do it? His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife, after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Ramor all the time, but why does he hunt me? Ramor is the manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please, let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Where are you taking my cat, bitch? Where are you taking my cat? Where's your hat from? Flow switch! I wonder if there's an achievement for this. That's why I keep flipping the switch. Yep. This is <laughs> this is Electro Man. <laughs> I knew I'd get an achievement if I kept shocking them. Don't throw my cat over the edge. I swear to fuck, Aunt Grace. I'm gonna fuck you up. Fran, my dear, listen to me. <clears throat> you must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best, but for that you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course, but there is still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. No. You whore! Kitty! Come on, Fran, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. How? Yes. Do it. Give in to the hatred. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Please help. No one will help you now. Just like my parents before you, you must die. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Oh my god, he just shot the shit out of me. Uh, guys, my mouth is just was just hung open there for a good couple of seconds. What the fuck? Fuck. First I was excited. I was like, finally we're gonna kick Aunt Grace's teeth in like I wanted to do at the beginning of the game. Because I knew she was up to some shit. 
And then next thing I know, like Oswald rolls up and I thought he was going to be like all Palpatine, like, yes, give it to your hatred, do it. And then next thing I know, I look over and he's got a gun in his hands. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck is he? And next thing I know, I got shot. This game is weird. Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain wide away. Oh shit, they're gonna try to kill me anyways. Fran, are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dern. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Edward can, motherfucker! Oh my god, he's using force powers on him. Oh, Edward, kill some bitches! Dude, this is so Star Wars right now. Oh my god, Edward just comes out of nowhere and starts force pushing people left and right. You can't kill him, he's a skeleton. Oh my god, this game just got fucking intense all of a sudden, like real intense. Give me a goddamn, give me a goddamn second, people. Give me a goddamn second. <sighs> Fucking it, we Yeah, I, tr I trusted you from the beginning. Like, don't believe what anyone else says. Like, I, I knew you were good from, like, from the, from the, from the get-go. I definitely didn't think you were going to betray me and murder me. Honestly. Oh, Fran, everything will be fine. Who are you? I'm Itworth, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. No shit. Ecto bro, Ecto prote, Plantris, Manacaxis, whatever. Gorska, it word. I found him. Oh my goodness! Stay away from the girl. Leave her alone. <gasps> you got Mr. Midnight. Oh shit! Little Fran must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes. She's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took. The innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards light. What is happening? If I wait, I swear to fuck, if I wake up just like in an insane asylum, I'm going to lose my shit. This is gonna be stupid, <laughs> but this is right now. It's really cool. Ah, what happened, Edward? Valandris? My heart hurts. Mister Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty. I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go? All right. <laughs> Doctor Dear, look. This is Edward and Valandris. I told you about them. Remember? I told you they were real. See? Can you believe me now? Oh, guys, Dr. Deeran's not doing well. He can't hear you. I think he is under the power of Mabuka now. We really must leave now. But can he come with us, please? He's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He will wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess, as long as he is safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. You really think so? Aw, oh, thank you, Blondris. Get me out of here, Blondris. Now let's send Dr. Nier home. Marcel Duren, I'm gonna buy you the ectoplasm, bro. Goodbye, Dr. Duren. Let's go now, Fran. There's so much you must see and learn. He he, that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear, I choose happiness. Huh. <laughs> We're in this fucking flying machine. Am 
I just gonna go? Fuck with me, right? Like this this is a classic fucking egg nilish proof reading. <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty that's pretty funny, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, that's a good joke right there. I told you it was German. <laughs> I told you it's fraud, not Fran. Suck it. This can't can't be the end, right? <laughs> like you fuck with me, right? Like that was that wasn't the end, right? I'm just waiting for these credits to to end so I can see if it if this was a joke or not, and there's more. Or th th this was it. Let's say back or emotional supporter, fan artist, YouTuber, reviewer, and do you who believed in us? Indie, Indie Go Go. Yeah, I know. I'll give it that. I like the music, but I'm still kind of waiting. Uh. <clears throat> Thank you for playing from the. What? <laughs> Kill Monday games is be always for the 2015. Be serious. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no, guys, guys. few things to say <sighs> right now I don't know how I feel about this game <laughs> based off of what I just saw uh, but we're gonna try to get through this the most coherently and professionally I guess you can see that I can I'm gonna start it by saying trying to piece together whatever little bits I can from the storyline. <laughs> so... I guess I was part of some, like, prophecy or something? Based off of what Mabuka was saying to me? Um... That I would be some kind of special link between the, the worlds or some shit? Which I guess was real? <laughs> question mark. We'll put a question mark on that for now, because I have more theories to that later. Uh, 
but I mean, and I guess Dr. Oswald knew this, uh, and they, they, they want, look, we're gonna, we're gonna want to harvest my brain, but like, my, my mama didn't want that, so they had, I guess they went to like the fifth reality and talked, made a deal or some shit with Remor, uh, who would delight, who would delight to see the sorrow and pain and feed off of it. So he either sliced up my family or drove Fran herself to madness and controlled her mind or whatever and made her slice up her own family. And then witnessing it, she kind of went crazy and ran away. But they caught her because they knew where she was and brought her to the asylum because they planned for this. <sighs> to which case, all this shit broke out. Um... I guess really just goes from there. So, if we're taking this just for what the story said, then I was right, uh, and and Grace was up to some shit. Like I, I was right from the get go. Um, hmm. But here's the thing: it seems like they took a book out of uh, American McGee's. Uh, Madness Returns kind of, kind of you know, t took a note out of, the, uh, of that book, and was like, "Hey, we're gonna make it some, like, was it real? Or was it all in her head all along? Kind of, kind of take from this, uh, and leave it up for them to decide what it means and what happened, and that, <laughs> trust me, insane. I hate that because." Here's here's the here's the two possibilities that we're looking at here, is that either all this was real, and there are multiple realities, and this girl was the key to being able to delve through all the realities, and all this shit really did happen and went down, or the more likely story <laughs> that this is all the overactive imagination of a legally mentally a legally diagnosed mentally insane 11 year old girl and this is all the journey she's going on in her brain while in reality she is in a padded room tied up in a straitjacket those are the two possibilities of this game and I was hoping based off of the really intelligent writing that I was seeing, the, the the clever puzzles, and just the good time I was experiencing, I was really hoping that in the end, that they weren't going to do me dirty, and they were going to explain one way or other what was truly going on, and what was actually happening. However, they threw it into a, uh, that's up to your interpretation ending, which I hate those endings, because while it's fun, to guess like, oh, it could be this, it could be that, this could represent this, but, or it could be real. Well, that's fun. At the end of the day, I want to fucking know. <laughs> like, one way or the other, which one is it? Is, is, is it all of her imagination, or is this actually happening? And I hate that I may never know the answer. We'll probably never know the answer. Just like Alice Madness Returns, which... They're like, did she actually kill the dude? And, and like what happened after that or did when she transformed into her wonderland clothes and did it did she just free her mind from this but didn't actually kill I hate it <laughs> I hate not knowing the answers um, but with that being said <laughs> while the highly likely case because of some of the some of the you know little things here or there um, The, the, the high, uh, you know, with like the uh, the straight jacket being in the closet uh, and this and that. 
it really does you know and like visiting your other self who's clearly crazy in a mental institution um, <clears throat> like to me it really does seem like she's just in a straitjacket in a padded room and this is all in her head um, but who knows um Oh, but I really, I do really want to, the last thing here before we, before we end off here, is I want to say that I really do appreciate a lot of the, a lot of the, 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 the quotes from this that I have sent to some of my friends, because I was just so, um, I was just so moved and touched by some of, some of these, uh, some of these quotes and just the writing. In this game in general, things like when the uh, chapter three, when the king said that, uh, uh, you know, as long as you love your life, kind of thing. I don't remember the exact quote is, um, but uh, you know, only when you don't love do you truly die, or some shit like that. Like just the kind of the kind of like that 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 really nice shit. That I, I really do appreciate. Uh, the writing and the, the positive outlook that I've gotten from a game that is so dark. Um, I kind of wish it would have stuck in the realm of reality um, that uh, from chapter one, because chapter one was really fucking cool because it was completely in the realm of reality, um, and these pills were just, you know, uh, kind of putting her into this like medically induced nightmare realm and it kind of made sense and then it went f all fucking <laughs> balls to the wall insanity and it was like nothing was real anymore um, I don't know either who I was really looking forward to playing this game and I'm really happy that I did play this game it was, it was a good time I, I've gotten I feel like I, I, I learned how this game thought and I got really good at the puzzles at the at the end of the that last chapter there I was just fucking killing it didn't have to look up a walk through once I figured everything out at a reasonable t rate too so I'm just I'm really proud of myself there um, and chapter four, because I, I finished watching Markiplier play chapter four, and chapter four, I was figuring things out faster than he was, and he's a lot better at these games than I am. Uh, and I was just like, dude, I'm fucking killing it. Um, so, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the progress I made as a point-and-click puzzle adventure game. Uh, there is another one that I'm very interested in playing, but I'm going to give it a break for a while for this point-and-click style adventure games. Uh, but I also found another one that looks really cool that I want to I want to try sometime. So this will not be the end of these <laughs> point-and-click horror games. You'll be able to see me lose my mind. Uh, well, horror-based games. Uh, it, it, you'll be able to see me lose my mind again at least one more time. So, you know, don't worry. You'll see this in the future, and I will see you guys in the next game. <laughs>